Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I've got a quick auction haul for you. Um, obviously this isn't my entire auction haul. It would be, I, I wouldn't be able to fit it here. So I'm not gonna do an entire auction haul. But obviously every now and then I'll show a box, you know, from each of my auction hauls and stuff. Uh, maybe even show a couple of boxes and do a couple of different videos. Um, but yeah, this was a lot that stood out to me actually. Um, and I'll talk you through it. I'll, you know, obviously show you the bits and bobs. And without further ado, we'll get into this straight away. So. First off was something, well, a couple of items are a bit of a shame, actually, um, because they are not complete sets. And it annoys me because it's like, what am I going to do with them? Um, because I can't sell them as incomplete sets. These are, now, I did some research on these a while back because I had these before, and I believe they're called Apostle Spoons. I don't know whether that's going to focus in very well, but um, they've got this like little man uh, figure on the top, and I believe that is meant to be or represent one of the apostles. Um, so yeah, this should be a little set of six uh, EPNS spoons here in this nice case, and it's a nice little set, and it annoys me that it's not complete. Um, now it isn't blended. Well, it is blended. Is it blended up here? No, it isn't blended up there. It just says silver EPNS on that little uh, label. But it just says EPNS on the spoon. So if I could find a, uh, another one of these that actually just had EPNS written in the same area, which I know is a fair ask, but if I could find another one of them, you know, at some point in the future, then I can sell it and get more for it. But otherwise, I mean, there's not a lot I can do with it, to be honest. And it's a shame because it's not like it's high value. As a complete set, it's like a tenner, maybe a little bit more. But it just annoys me, you know, that I can't sell that or I can't pass it on to someone who would really enjoy it. I mean, I could sell it, don't get me wrong, I could like list it and stuff, list it at a lower price maybe if I, if I have to. But, I, you know, where I can, I like to bring the best service and I like to bring complete items, not incomplete. So, yeah, so it's a bit annoying. And then these, which aren't anything special, uh, but are incomplete, again, just some little knives. Uh, with sort of this, uh, what do you call it, artificial bone handle, um, and yeah, so that's those. So it's a bit annoying on those two, however, there's a couple of other better bits uh, in a second. Um, next is what I think is a vanity set, so here it is here. Um, I think it's a vanity set, not 100% sure on that, because I've not really had any vanity sets before, but um, we've got... Ebony, now this is ebony wood. I don't know whether I can sell this or not. I've never had it before. I'm assuming it's completely fine, but I will just double check because I know that, um, you know, ebony and ivory go together. I know they're only in that song, but ebony and ivory go together and I know that you can't sell ivory. I don't know whether you can sell it at all on eBay. I know that you can sell it in auction houses and stuff. Uh, if it's, po is it pre, no, pre-1947, is that right? Um, or something like that, anyway. Um, but on eBay, I don't even think you can sell ivory. And I know that ebony and ivory are tied together and all that, like I just said. So, I don't know. But, um, yeah, ebony handled brush. Ebony handled brush. I think there's meant to be a mirror in here, but there's no mirror. Whatever the hell that is, someone will be able to tell me. But I really don't know what that is. Um, we've got a shoehorn, which is just steel. Um, and then we've got two weird, like, almost dentist-like instruments that I don't know what they are. I don't know. But anyway, that's that. Oh, oh I'm dropping it. Oh, I'll get that in a minute. I'll get that after I've done the video. It just slid right under the desk. Um, anyway, and then we've got one more of them there. So I don't know, but, you know, as long as I'm all right to sell that and everything, there should be something in that at least. Um... But as I say, I don't know whether there should be a mirror in there. I'm not sure whether that's going to harm the value and stuff if there was meant to be a mirror in there. But yeah, anyway, that's that one. Um, we've got down here a nice little set of, I believe these are dessert spoons and knives or knives and forks. Um, spoons and knives? No, spoons and forks. That's what I'm trying to say. So I believe these are dessert spoons and forks. Um, it's just a guess, but looking at them, they look like dessert, you know, me meant for desserts. Um, quite a nice little set. They are branded, uh, and they say stainless plate on here. So a bit annoying, because I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure what, whether that means silver plate or stainless steel that's uh, 
plated or something. I don't know. I don't know. I've got to do a bit more research into that. Uh, HR and Co. They are blended. So that's quite a nice little set. You know, obviously the value is going to be somewhat dependent on the maker. Not entirely, but somewhat dependent. Um, you know, if it's just, you know, not an amazing maker, then it's just going to be a standard sort of price. But still, I'm quite happy with that. There's got to be at least about 15 quid or so in that, if not more. So I'm quite happy with that one, yeah. Nice little set, that. Um, I don't know whether I said, but I paid £15 plus commission for everything you're seeing in this whole video. Um, so, you know, that's, you know, fair price. I was, I was more than happy with that. Next is something quite nice. Uh, Nikon, so it's Nikon blended, and they are a vintage pair of binoculars. Now, I've got these listed for 60 quid, um, which is fairly top end, to be honest. I mean, I saw one that had sold for around the 60 quid, about 55 quid, something like that. So, it's pretty, pretty top end, to be honest. Um, and these are, um, they were made in Tokyo, and these are 8 times 30 I'm assuming that's like the length or something, the zoom or something. I don't know. I don't know much about binoculars, but 8 times 30 um, And yeah, quite a nice pair of binoculars. As I say, I've got them listed for 60 quid. Listed them last night. I've already got a message. I've not checked the message yet, but I've already got a message on them. Hopefully, it's actually someone who's interested and not someone like pointing out that I've, I've had something wrong with my listing or something. Because that would annoy me because I'd be like, oh, damn, I thought I had interest. But anyway, I mean, I love it when people... Um, you know, send me messages via eBay saying, oh, there's some, you've misspelt something on your listing or something like that. But when you think you've got interest in an item, it really annoys me when, you know, it, it is just something like that. So hopefully it is genuine interest in it because I'll be quite happy to see these go at 60 quid. Um, so yeah, that's both. So really nice item, you know, puts me way in profit on, the, on this box once I've uh, sold them, obviously. So yeah, quite happy with them. Um, I've got this now. I believe this is for some sort of vintage game. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's quite an old, old game, I believe. But I'm not sure what it is. I can't remember the name. But I'm pretty sure this is for some sort of very old uh, game. So I don't know anyway. But that's that. Um, I have to do some research into that, I suppose, to find out what it is and see if I've got everything there because I'm, I'm assuming there's got to be some other bits to go in there so I don't even think I've got all the you know all the proper items for it but anyway uh, and then I got some really random uh, dominoes actually in the other room I've already listed from this uh, haul another set of dominoes who are from Spears um, quite nice ones actually quite vintage ones and I saw one had sold for nine quid plus postage so I'd gone in I have gone in at £10 plus postage, so hopefully they'll sell as well, so that's an, an extra thing from this haul. Um, obviously, I, I just forgot to bring them in from the other room, but yeah, those ones aren't anything special. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. You know, if they're worth listing, I'll list them, but I really doubt they are even going to be worth listing. So we could always go to a car boot or something. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, this is something quite nice, at, again, from this job lot. This is in a nice, uh, uh, what's the word, polystyrene case. Um, and it's an all-star Super 8 um, camera, Super 8 Titan. Now, I did a little bit of research on this before the auction. And I think it was this model. I mean, it might have been a slightly different model, but I wasn't too sure at the time. But um, it went for 46 quid plus postage, and it was pretty much bang on. I didn't check the model number, but it was pretty much bang on. So... The quality of the item, I'm thinking that hopefully I should get around about that. Maybe a little bit less, but around about that anyway. As I say, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. It really depends, but I'll do some more research on that one. Um, and it, it's quite a nice item. It's heavy. It's got some uh, quality to it. So, yeah, quite happy with that. Um, so that's that one. And then finally, I think finally, yeah, finally... Again, from oh, oh, that's not good. I've got some other ceramics down there, which is probably just not a good good idea anyway. Um, finally, I've got this one, which was in a little case. Don't know whether it's the original case or not. Probably not. But, um, yeah, it was in that case. And I've not researched this one because I was safe with the other two. I thought, 15 quid, I'm safe with, you know, just the other two, like selling the other two anyway. So I didn't need to research this. Um, but yeah, Dart Reflex Free, Shin On, um, again, some sort of Super 8 camera, 
shin on reflex zoom lens there zoom, super super eight says there and it's got this shin on lens on it so pretty cool um again i'm gonna have to do some more research on that but it feels good quality i don't the only problem with these i don't know how to test them i'm assuming like there's some sort of battery i don't know i'm trying to get this open because it looks like a battery compartment but does that Oh, there we go. There we go. That's how you do it. Yeah, so I'm assuming actually there must be some sort of battery compartment there. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to have a look at that just to see how to test it. These are kind of out outside my comfort zone. Don't have never really had these before. Um, but we'll see. I'll see if I can, can't test them and then obviously I can get some more money from them. So, yeah, that's those anyway. So that's everything from the haul. Um, if you did enjoy the video, as always, give it a like down below. Um, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe. And as always, you can support the channel down below using my affiliate links in the description. With that being said, I'll leave it there, guys, and thank you very much for joining me.